Hey everyone, welcome to the split seed where the moment is right now. My name is Jenny and today's video is going to be something a little bit different. We've been moved into the house for about a week and a half at this point and it is still just chaos in here with boxes everywhere, things still needing to be unpacked and organized and all this kind of stuff. So I have a special little video to share with you guys for this week. So fun fact, I have been wanting to start a YouTube channel and I've had a lot of stops and starts with that since literally like 2018. So this video that I'm sharing this week, I filmed almost exactly two years ago in fall of 2021. I hope you enjoy watching this two-year-old thrift with me. I hope it's a little bit fun for you guys to see and I will be back for sure next Thursday with my regular videos. I really appreciate you guys giving me the grace and the time that I need to get some of these things done around the house. So thank you so much for that. And now here is old me. Matcha, 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 matcha. Hi, can, can I get a, a matcha latte? This is a sun hand, never love any of you. Does anybody else like not like bananas? All right, there is that for you. Great, thank you. Good morning. It is thrifting day. So here's the situation. I recently got a new job in which I am not allowed to wear jeans or graphic t-shirts or obviously nothing that shows a lot of skin. The I mean, it's pretty typical business casual stuff. And here's the thing. I've never really been comfortable in business casual. I've had to wear it before. I've never liked it. It's always boring. I feel, I just don't feel like myself. So the goal today is to get some business casual attire that's like right on, right on the edge. I want it to just barely pass the test. I want to barely, I want to get a D. I want my boss to look at me and not be able to do anything, not be able to say anything, but he kind of wants to. So we're going to try and do that today. Ugh. made it through the shoes and the bags. There really wasn't a lot here, but I did find that really cool pair of red shoes that I'm super excited about. So uh, I'm gonna move on to probably the dress section. There wasn't anything in the bags either. Look at this little shirt dress with the hem. It's not my size, but it's super cute. We made it out of Goodwill. I'm gonna go to the next store right now um, and see what else we can find. Let's go if this person will ever hurry up. They're driving like three miles an hour, I swear to God.
we are at the third shop i just left the second one and i do really like the shop i just left it's a charity shop and they have really really nice stuff in there but they are the highest prices in all of town so i only got a few things but they're really really nice high quality stuff so we're gonna go into store number three Okay, so I just got out of the third store. I found a lot of cool stuff in this one, um, a couple really unique things actually. So I'm actually going to head home and then show you the haul. Ah! I don't know why I did that. I'm back, time for the haul. So Goodwill, the first thing I got was this just little knit top. It has this little vintage tag. Ooh, look at the color. And this at Goodwill was $3.99. So yeah, just a really cute green top that I think you could layer something underneath, but I just really, really like the color of it mostly. The next thing I got from Goodwill is this jean shirt jacket but the reason i really like it and i'm excited about it is because there's a hood on it this is totally giving me jesse vibes from the parent trap like in a good way so yeah that's a cute shirt and that was uh 4.99 at goodwill the next thing i got was this little sweater vest a little knit sweater vest haberdashery and it has a really cute pattern it's kind of like muted tones i'm trying not to get anything that's too brightly colored um, for the most part i just find that i'm more comfortable in more muted colors i kind of like a more earthy grungy sort of look so i think that this is a nice option for color within that range pretty color pretty vest uh okay the next thing i got at goodwill it's kind of think if think if you had an eccentric older aunt who played the organ at church this is her jacket the shirt is attached to the jacket hear me out hear me out though i'm just gonna cut the shirt straight down the middle and open it up so i can try it on as a jacket I think I'm gonna cut the shoulder pads out now too, because these, I mean, these are, these are hefty shoulder pads. That's not a shoulder pad for the, the week. Eventually I'll cut out this like shirt that I cut apart too. So this part and just leave the jacket part. But this is enough that we can try it on. What do we think? I just think it is the prettiest material. It kind of reminds me of like an old maybe men's smoking jacket from like Great Gatsby era. So yeah, I am super happy with this. It's so unique, so cool. That was $5. The next things I got from Goodwill are pants. So the first pair of pants I got from Goodwill are just these simple trousers, but I like them because they're high-waisted, they do have uh, a pretty decent pocket to them actually, but they just fit me really nicely around the waist. And I also like that they're a little bit cropped on the bottom. So whatever shoe you wear with them um, will really stand out. The brand is Lee and pants were $5.99. Okay, and then for the second pair of pants, I think these are so cool. They're again, high-waisted, really, flowy and comfortable and fall looking, sticking with the color palette, a really fun pattern. They're a little big for me, so in order to keep them where I want them at the waist, I'm gonna have to take them in a little bit, um, but they're gonna be super, super cool once I do that. And the last thing, last but not least, I did find a pair of shoes. Look at these shoes. 
look at them. They're just super cool. They're really cool. I like them a lot and you can wear them with socks, which I really like, or like tights or something like that. So uh, yeah, they're really cool. Okay, so for the next store, that was the uh, just local thrift shop, the one that is a little bit cluttered and I like that. I like a cluttered thrift shop. So this was actually in the vintage section, but it's another little knit uh, sweater. I should actually, maybe I should put some pants on for this. Anyways, this was in the vintage section. It's just another little really cute knit sleeveless vest. And it really doesn't have stretch to it. It's a very um, just fixed sort of fabric. Oh, hmm. So I have to be honest. Now that I have it on my body, I'm not the biggest fan of it. The collar is a lot like tighter than I expected it to be. The armpits are a tiny bit tight, but I just like don't feel like it's that flattering on me. Like it's cute up close. I don't know, maybe if I tucked it. I don't know, this one I'm not sold on. This is the only thing so far that I've tried on that I don't really like, so. Uh oh. Oh no. See, and that right there, I don't like either. Like if I struggle to take my clothes on and off and if they're complicated and I just am not into it, I want my clothes to just be easy and comfortable. Uh, so already this is not fulfilling that need. So the next thing, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to wear it in a work outfit or not, but it's this really cute cropped life is good long sleeve tee so whoever owned it first uh, or owned it before me cropped it and it just happens to kind of fall in the perfect spot for me personally but i just really like the color of it i think it's a really pretty sort of dusty reddish pink color it has this cute graphic on it that says one love and then the little life is good guy on the back so the next thing is this men's uh wool sweater and i really like the fit of it it is just kind of a nice oversized fit it is a little itchy now that i have it on my body um which isn't the greatest but i feel like it's a manageable sort of itch or i can always layer something under it but i just think it's a really pretty color this one's a winner even though it is a little bit itchy so the last thing i got at the thrift store that we're currently talking about is these pants and lordy lordy are these cool pants hold on let me put them on so i was super excited when i found these pants because they're really cool patchwork sort of look with different shades of brown they have lots of pockets in them it has this weird uh cargo pocket on the butt and then these cargo pockets on the sides and I also have this kind of funny uh, seam thing going on on the bottom. I just think they're cool pants. However, now that I have them on, I'm wondering if they are, are they pregnancy pants? Are these pregnancy pants? You mean even if they are pregnancy pants, they're pretty cool. And I don't know how much they were. The same amount. Everything at that, at that place was pretty similar, like, I don't know six dollars so now i'm going to talk about the last store i went to which was the uh a little bit more expensive charity shop or actually a lot more expensive so the first thing i got there was this um t-shirt it's just really soft and i really like the you know, the the baggy fit of it you can see it goes down quite a long ways it's just it's super soft and the color of it is really pretty that was nine dollars which is a lot for a t-shirt but and then the next thing I got is just this really simple gray dress uh, for $12. But you can see it's a really pretty, just soft gray material. It's super, super soft, super comfortable. It's a uh, midi dress, so it hits me just below the knee and it'll just be great to wear with a pair of boots um, to layer something maybe over the top of it. I could wear a really pretty um, vest or even maybe a cool t-shirt over the top of it or a cool jacket, something like that. So it's just kind of a, a basic piece, but I don't have anything like this and it's just really soft and fits me really nice. So I'm happy with this one. 
And the last item that I'm gonna show you is the most expensive thing that I got, but it also might be like the favorite, my favorite thing that I got. And it is this skirt. It is just, it is just. The fit of it is so nice. It, it fits me right around the waist where I want it to. It hits me kind of right at my ankle so it will look really cool with a pair of boots. I'm excited to mix maybe some different patterns with this skirt because I think that it's a really good opportunity to do some fun stuff. So yeah, I like this skirt a lot. So that's everything I have today, but thank you so much for watching this thrift with me for some work clothes. I'm excited to try and figure out how to put it together with some of the stuff I already have in my closet. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you had a good time. If you feel like it, uh, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Split Seed. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, I'm sorry, Quail. I'm sorry, Ren. I'm stepping on everybody. <laughs>